there is a secret that truly elegant people know, which makes them happier and more fulfilled in all areas of life. The elegance of these women and men is not just in their impeccable wardrobes. It's something deeper, something that shines through in their attitudes and the way they lead their lives. Let's talk about how this secret can transform your life as well. It's a simple yet powerful concept, one that's even been explored in the great stories we love, like those in the Bible, where true happiness and elegance come from within. And speaking of transformation, if you want to be an elegant and sophisticated traveler, don't miss my ebook, Travel Elegantly. Global Etiquette for the Sophisticated Traveler. The link is in the first pinned comment. By the way, did you know that 85% of the people who watch my videos haven't subscribed to the channel yet? If you want to learn how to turn your elegance into something truly profitable, subscribe now, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Let's uncover together the secret to happiness that elegant women know so well. The power of words in an elegant and happy life. Do you want to live a happier and more fulfilling life? One of the greatest secrets is right in front of you, the way you use your words. The Bible teaches us in 1 Peter 3.10 that if you want to love life and see good days, you must learn to control your tongue. In other words, the key to a fulfilling life lies in carefully choosing what you say. But why is this so important? Think about the last time you got involved in an argument or made an impulsive comment. Words have the power to create or destroy, and this applies both in personal and professional life. A poorly chosen phrase can ruin relationships, while words of encouragement can transform situations. Remember that moment when you reacted negatively to a person or situation? It may have seemed harmless at the time, but those words impact others and reverberate back into your own life. The book of Proverbs 13.3 reinforces this. He who guards his mouth preserves his life. If you speak without thinking, you might end up creating a negative environment around you. Let's take a real example. When I mention certain public figures here on the channel, like Meghan Markle, some people react with intense criticism, even saying they'll unsubscribe from the channel. And then I ask, should everything you've learned here, all the shared knowledge, be discarded because of a differing opinion? See how easy it is to be swayed by impulsive words? The secret is simple. Practice verbal self-control. The elegant women you admire, like Kate Middleton or Julia Roberts, don't stand out just for their beauty or impeccable attire. They understand the value of silence and measured words. If you want to be truly elegant and happy, start by minding what you say. Embracing reproof. Many people feel uncomfortable when confronted or reprimanded, and this discomfort can lead them to use words destructively, creating conflicts and even ruining their own lives. However, one of the deepest secrets to happiness is actually learning to love being reproved. Think about the last time someone pointed out something you did wrong or suggested a change in your attitude. How did you react? Most people, instead of reflecting and learning from the reproof, react defensively, using negative words that only worsen the situation. Biblical wisdom in Proverbs 18.21 reminds us that the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. In other words, your words can either build up or tear down. Now, imagine a different scenario. You see someone you admire acting in an unexpected way. Instead of criticizing or rejecting what that person is doing, ask yourself, what might they perceive that I haven't yet understood? Adopting an attitude of humility and curiosity can transform your worldview and enrich your life. Unfortunately, many people prefer to jump from one mentor to another, fleeing from any reproof or criticism. When they hear something they don't like, they simply abandon the person who was guiding them, seeking out someone who will only confirm what they already believe. But those who behave this way never truly prosper. They miss out on the growth opportunities that reproof offers. True elegance is not just about dressing well or behaving properly. It also lies in knowing how to receive criticism and learn from it. Truly elegant women like those we admire understand the value of well-chosen words and the impact of well-received correction. So, use your words wisely and embrace reproof as an opportunity to grow and become an even better version of yourself. The impact of words on our happiness and authority. Our words hold immense power and this is no secret. Biblical wisdom repeatedly warns us about the importance of controlling what we say. In James 3, 2, it is written, We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, able to keep their whole body in check. This means that by mastering our speech, we are on the path to mastering other areas of our lives. But why is it so difficult to control our words? Because as the Gospel of Matthew 12, 34 reminds us, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. If your heart is filled with bitterness, criticism, or negativity, that's what will come out of your mouth. And this isn't just a matter of morality, it's a matter of happiness. 
How many times have you seen someone ruin their own happiness because they couldn't hold their tongue? It's common to see people criticizing thoughtlessly, hurling harsh words, and in the end, harming themselves. The Bible is clear. Those who talk too much end up in ruin. It's not the person you're trying to hurt who suffers the consequences, but you. So, how can we use our words to cultivate happiness? The secret is simple. Instead of criticizing, bless. Even when you don't understand or agree with what someone is doing, choose to highlight something positive. True elegance lies in using your mouth as a source of fresh water, as James 3 teaches us. And remember, there's a difference between criticism and reproof. Criticism often comes from a place of inferiority, from someone who lacks authority over another person's life. Reproof, on the other hand, when done with love and wisdom, comes from someone with authority who genuinely wishes the best for the other. Therefore, if you're not in a position of authority, use your words to bless, not to criticize. Happiness is within our reach when we choose words that build and uplift. Those who master their speech master their lives. Those who don't stumble in what they say are one step closer to perfection and true happiness. How to use your words to build happiness. We are constantly in a battle and our most powerful weapons are our words. What comes out of your mouth has the power to shape your destiny, bring peace and prosperity, or on the contrary, cause ruin. For those seeking happiness and success, control over what you say is essential. Instead of opening your mouth to criticize or curse, why not adopt a different approach? When someone you admire does something you don't understand, rather than judging quickly, ask yourself, what am I missing here? Wisdom begins with curiosity and a willingness to understand before criticizing. After all, the person you admire has achieved extraordinary results for a reason. Wisdom, say it with me, wisdom. It is the key to controlling what we say and to self-reflection. And why do some people bother us so much, even when we have no direct involvement in their lives? Perhaps it's because their actions challenge our own beliefs, forcing us to reflect on who we are. Wise people speak little and observe much. The Bible teaches us that those who talk too much, err much. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a brick in the construction of your happiness. Speaking too much without thinking can tear down that construction before it even begins. There are those who speak as if they are superior, always placing themselves above others without considering the impact of their words. But words are like keys. They can open doors to new opportunities or close them forever. How many many times has someone lost the chance to learn something valuable by criticizing? For example, saying, I'm unfollowing you because you mentioned so-and-so, closes a door. And in closing that door, they also lose access to knowledge that could transform their life. James 3 reminds us that a spring cannot produce both fresh and bitter water. If your words are bitter, what does that reveal about who you are? And if you act this way towards someone you don't even know, how must you treat those around you, especially those with whom you are more intimate? Measuring what we say is essential. Your words filter who will stand by your side. The quality of the people around you depends greatly on how you express yourself. Want to build a circle of good and inspiring people? Start by observing what you say and how you say it. The power of building relationships through words. Imagine someone who, instead of criticizing impulsively, always begins with a compliment. This person understands that to be heard and respected, they must first build bridges with their words. When a critique is necessary, they deliver it with care, thoughtfully considering their words beforehand. Such a person attracts admiration, respect, and a strong support network around them. After all, everyone enjoys being around someone who knows how to use words wisely. Now consider the opposite, someone who constantly spreads gossip, always with a hurtful comment ready. While many may enjoy hearing gossip, no one wants to be associated with the gossiper. Gossip might grab attention momentarily, but it never builds true bonds. Those who constantly speak ill of others end up isolated because no one wants to be around someone who brings so much negativity. Words have immense power. Proverbs 15.1 reminds us that a gentle answer turns away wrath. A soft word can calm the most intense emotional storms. A biblical example of this is Abigail, who saved her household from death using only her wise and peaceful words. Her words were so powerful that they changed her destiny. In the same way, your words can either open or close doors in your life. They can push people away or draw them closer to you. That's why it's crucial, as someone seeking a happier and more fulfilling life, to be mindful of what you say. The words you choose not only reflect what's in your heart, but also shape your future. We are entering a new era where wisdom in the use of words will be key to attracting happiness, peace, and prosperity. So, make a commitment to yourself. Use your voice to bless. 
to highlight the good around you, and to project a bright future. Mastering what you say is undoubtedly one of the greatest secrets to a successful and fulfilling life. Before we move on, I have to ask, how will you use your words today to build your happiness? What impact will this have on your life from now on? Write in the comments, words create happiness, if you enjoyed this content, and if you've already started thinking about the changes you'll make. And of course, if you want to achieve more success and learn how to be elegant, subscribe to the channel now and leave your like. Remember, elegance is profitable, and here you'll learn how to turn every detail of your life into success. Don't miss the opportunity to check out my ebook, Travel Elegantly, Global Etiquette for the Sophisticated Traveler, if your goal is to be an elegant and sophisticated traveler. The link is in the first pinned comment. Take a moment and think, how have the words you choose to use every day been shaping your life? Perhaps you've realized that small changes in how you communicate can open doors to a happier and more fulfilling life. Want to know more about how to turn this change into something even deeper and more impactful? It could be that even mastering your words, you still feel like something is missing, that spark of self-confidence that makes all the difference. And you know what might be holding you back? Those days when you don't feel as beautiful or as confident? Because let's be honest, we all have those days, right? But here's the solution. I want you to watch the video, Watch When You're Feeling Ugly, Self-Love in Every Piece, How Fashion Reinforces Self-Acceptance. In it, you'll discover how fashion and self-acceptance go hand in hand, and how feeling beautiful every day can be a reality for you. This video is the missing piece that will allow you to apply everything you've learned here and achieve complete happiness. Ready to take the next step on your journey to elegance and happiness? Let's continue together on this path. See you in the next video.